Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. In our video today, we're really excited about having five farmhouse DIYs for $5. If you're new here to Southern G More Gals, I'm Elizabeth. We want to welcome you to our channel. And if you're returning or already subscribed, we want to say thank you for subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate it. And let's jump right in with our DIYs. To start with, for my DIY number one, I found this little flower sifter at a thrift store. I only paid $2 for it, and this already has such a great farmhouse look to it, but we want to brighten it up a little bit. It's really dull and faded out. Um, just looks really worn out. Uh, you can't see the lettering on it very well either at this color, but we're going to paint it, and this will bring out some of that lettering. So I just spray painted this with a peacock color spray paint, and then I'm taking some of the antique wax the waverly wax with a chunky brush from the dollar tree and it looks like magic when it just brings out those letters here when i was going over it i was just amazed at how it made those letters pop out and you can see the words so much better now than you could with that old faded um kind of rusted tin um look that it had i love this shade of the kind of the turquoise or the peacock looks great with some fall um picks in it so here's our final reveal, and this is all I did. I went over it with that Waverly Wax and the spray paint, and it's amazing how you can see the little cups there, one cup, three cups, looks wonderful. And then I just took some corn husk and some little fall picks from the Dollar Tree and just fill that up, and that's it. So so simple, only cost me $2. I had a lot of the little floral items left from last year, but they're only a dollar from the Dollar Tree if you have to purchase some. So let's move on to DIY number two. Well, we want to welcome you here to Southern G More Gals. If you're new, if you're already a subscriber, we want to say thank you. We really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Check us out on Instagram and give us a thumbs up. That really helps our channel out. And let's move on to DIY number two. I purchased this little wooden candle holder for a dollar from a thrift store. It had a little hole in it, so I just put some wood filler there to fill that in and sanded it off. I also got this little pumpkin there, and it was only 50 cent. And we're going to paint both of these items. So I'm using a stone gray spray paint that I spray spray painted my candle holder with and then I'm using an off-white to paint the pumpkin. I'm taking some of that Antiques Waverly Wax again and I'm just going over my candle holder to give it more of a little bit of a rustic look and this is something you can just do really quickly. It was a little bit windy there so everything was blowing around on me there but um, I'm just going over this trying to um, kind of filling in those crevices and trying to make it look like it's a little bit more weathered and I'm going to do the same thing on the pumpkin. I'm just going to go over the tops of it and in the creases to give the pumpkin a little bit more of a textured look. So this is one of those, I'm going to show you how I did it first off, but then I'm going to tell you how you need to do it because I didn't do this right the first time, or I made it much harder on myself. Let me say it that way. So this, the first way I'm doing here is I glued my pumpkin to my candle holder, and then I glued some of the corn husk and tried to wrap it around here. Well, of course, the pumpkin kept coming off. It wouldn't stay on here good. So um, once the pumpkin came off, I did the corn husk. I glued those onto my pumpkin. So make your wreath with the corn husk. And all I did with those was just put some glue on one end of the corn husk to the pumpkin and twisted it a little bit and then made that wreath shape and then glued the end of the corn husk again to the pumpkin. But once you get your little meat wreath made with the husk, then glue your pumpkin to the candle holder. It's so much easier to do it that way and you don't feel like you're kind of fighting that shape or trying to make it stay on there. So put you a little bit of glue from your hot glue gun on the candle holder and glue your pumpkin down. Makes it a lot easier. And this turned out just beautiful. I love the way this looks. Um, I just took three little dark colored leaves from some Dollar Tree flowers and pulled those off and put those into the corn husk. Here you can see my pumpkin too a little bit closer. I just spray painted my pumpkin in off white. I used some of that antique Waverly wax with a chunky brush and just went over the ridges here of the pumpkin just to give it a little bit more contrast. And I took a little bit of brown paint and made the stem a little bit darker. And this looks amazing. I only paid a dollar fifty, a dollar for the candle holder and fifty cent for the pumpkin. And wow, this looks great. A little bit taller piece if you need something to go back behind. You can even put some smaller pumpkins there in the front. Looks amazing. Let's move on to number three. 
But first, we're going to give a big shout out to these three ladies here for hosting the 5 Under 5 Challenge. Missy at Missy from Crafty Cove, Shannon from Shannon's Crafty DIYs, and Emily from Farm Charm Chic. Their information is listed down in our description box, along with the playlist. So check out everyone's designs and get some inspiration for some farmhouse DIYs. Five for only $5. So this is going to be my DIY three and four. I actually purchased these separate, but then I thought they look great together. So this is kind of a two for one here, but um, I purchased this candle holder. It's a nice, sturdy, heavy candle holder from Goodwill. I paid $1.99 for it. And all I did here, it already made such an amazing transformation, just spray painting this. I can't believe how different it looked, but this is the color I used the ivory silk. This is also the shade I used for the pumpkin in the previous DIY. And then I'm just going back with some of that Waverly wax i switched my brush out there i didn't like that big brush so i'm just using a more a little bit smaller brush there just really trying to get i wanted the tips of the leaves there to be darker and then right in the creases there so that's all i'm doing just kind of filling in those areas and shading that down a little bit there you can see where i'm going over the tips there just to really darken that down um and make it look more of that rustic or more of that farmhouse look. So I'm going to do that to all three of the leaves. I'm also going to go around the edges or they're kind of the swirly part here of the candle holder. And I'm, that's all I'm doing is adding some of this wax here around it. And then that's it for my candle holder. And this looks great. So you could put anything on top here. You could put a nice big candle. You can make a little wreath with some pumpkins around it or put a big pumpkin on it. But I found my little rooster and I love the way these two look together. So let's move on and I'll show you the little rooster and then we'll put them both together. So this is my little rooster. I found this at a Goodwill too. And, and this was $1.99. And that was a little bit much, I thought, but I like the way the rooster, um, the texture, how he was kind of standing out. You can see the top there was chipped a little bit has a little, couple little chips there but that's not going to matter once we paint this but painting this was um <laughs> quite the adventure here so originally i took some chalk paint and this apple barrel paint and mix those and then it looked way too pink i didn't like that and then i was going to go over it with the apple barrel paint and i didn't like that either so i went to my handy dandy here a spray paint <laughs> that looks wonderful love the way this looks. don't like the shiny part to it but i wanted to add a little bit of either white or brown i really couldn't decide so this was kind of a work in progress the first thing i did was I took some of the Waverly plaster shade and I went over, you know, I went all around the kind of the, the larger pieces or the textured part to kind of fill in those creases. Well, after I did that, I thought, well, it looks a little too white. I didn't like all that white on there. So then, so next I thought, well, let's see what some of the wax looks like on here. So I took some of the wax, the big brush, and I started going over it and filling it in. And that made it get, you know, it really gave it a nice kind of rustic look. But then I thought, well, it looks kind of dark. But um, this is just me taking that big chunky brush with some of the Waverly wax. And I went over a lot of that where it looked really white. Um, so that's all I'm doing. I went all the way around this. And then... <laughs> really didn't like the way that looked either so I took a little bit more of the white and a wet paper towel and just kind of um you know kind of wiped off a little bit and added a little bit so I can't really tell you exactly <laughs> what I did but this was just kind of what I was doing to give it the look that um I finished up with I was just kind of filling in a little bit with the plaster and then I used a little bit of the wax too and then I kind of wiped with the wet paper towel where it was a little bit heavy um, but I really wanted it to have a nice kind of rustic look but I also wanted the little rooster to be kind of have some accent around there and just not be that solid red shade so this is all I'm doing and I think he turned out great. You just have to play around with it a little bit if you have something like this. Uh, you know, it definitely has that rustic kind of look or that weather look. I really like the red. I think this is a great color for fall. And then with the light floral items in here, I think it really makes it pop out. So I just put some more of that corn husk in here. I have some light colored leaves from the Dollar Tree and also some of that wheat kind of floral items from the Dollar Tree. Now this looks great all by itself. I love the way this turned out. The, with the red, looks great for fall, but it looks wonderful on the candle holder. So I really like these two pieces together. So this is kind of my two for one here. <laughs> there, these are my DIY number three and four. I like the white on the top and the white on the bottom, but also having some color there. So let's move on to our next DIY. 
Now, I love how Emily did her little birdcage in a previous video. So, I love that idea. And I found these little wooden pieces at the thrift store. The bottom only paid 50 cent. And the little wooden dowels were also, I think that says 75 cent. And then the little metallic pumpkin I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use the Saverly chalk paint, the Waverly paint. I'm going to paint the bottom and the little wooden dowels. I'm also going to use a wide mouth lid and ring. That's going to be the top of my little lantern here or my little kind of pumpkin cage that I'm making. So all I'm going to do is I just kind of held the little dowels up to the height that I thought they needed to be over the pumpkin. And my little pumpkin, I spray painted that ivory silk shade, and I used some of the wax there on top of the pumpkin. And I'm just using my hot glue gun here. I'm putting some glue. I'm actually gluing these onto, like, the bottom edge. If I put them on the top, it was a little too tight for the pumpkin to be in here. So I'm going to do this all the way around. Um, a little hard to get these straight and even, but you know, it doesn't have to be just perfect. And once you get the lid on, you're going to have to adjust them some, but this is all I'm doing. I'm going to glue all four of these down around the edges here. And then once I get these on, I'm going to take my lid. Um, and for my ring, I put the lid inside the ring upside down. So I didn't want the indented part to be on the top. I wanted kind of the rounded part to be on the top. So I just glued that together inside my ring. And then I'm putting a little bit of glue here on top of each of the dowels. And I'm going to glue this to it. And then you have to start adjusting because, <laughs> it, you know, it wasn't straight. So you just had to move this around. And I, it took me a little while to get this pretty adjusted to have them look pretty straight. But I was going to try, you know, trying to give it a little bit of a squared look there on the inside. So you may have to do some adjustment. And then we're going to take some of the corn husk here and fill those in to give this a little bit more um, filling there on the inside. And I took one of the little pieces that came on the dowels there, and, and I just cut that off and glued that on the top there with my glue gun. So last fall, I found myself looking for corn husk type floral things in the store, you know, and we plant our own corn. <laughs> yeah, but I got rid of all the husk. So this year, I made sure that I'm keeping some of this. And this is, you know, if you purchase some corn from the farmer's market or Walmart, and it has the shuck on it. Keep some of it if you want it to put in some designs because this looks great with your fall items. And this is just like two days old. So this dries out really quickly. You can, you know, pull these apart and make thin little pieces or you can twist it. But I love using these and some of the wreaths and things for fall. So don't forget, you know, if you're having some corn over the summer, ours is just ready in our garden. So we're definitely going to be keeping some of it. And I just twisted a little piece on the top there and twisted some pieces around in here. Now the corn husk does not like to go round in a circle. So you may just have to work with it a little bit and you can see where I just kind of twisted it in there a little bit on the ends. And then I just added some of those little berries that I had left from some little pieces of Dollar Tree items that I had. And I think this looks great. And I think that's enough filling in there. Or you could put a little candle in here, whichever you like. So this is my final reveal. I like the green color up against the off-white. And all of the pieces look great together. And this only cost me a couple dollars to make. This was like under, you know, under three bucks for me to put all this together. And of course, I think the jar lid here, you can't get much more farmhouse than having jars or jar lids. So I love the way that looks with this piece. We're going to put them all together here so to give you one big final reveal. So these are all of our pieces together. I think the colors really coordinate well if you like a little bit of color in with your fall items. We want to thank everybody for watching our video today. If you're new to Southern Gmore Gals, we'd love to have you subscribe. Join our channel. Turn your notifications on. We want to say thank you again to all the ladies hosting the challenge today. Don't forget to check out the playlist down in our description box. And leave us a comment. Let us know which one that you like the best. We're also having, if you like thrifting items, um, Tammy from the Rusted Willow and I are hosting a thrifting challenge on the 19th of August. So we'd love to have you come back and watch our videos that day. Check us out on Instagram too. We um, are trying to build our Instagram channel and you'll get some little sneak peeks if you join us there of our upcoming videos that will be coming out. Thanks again for watching. We hope everybody's having a great rest of the end of the summer. I hate to see it ending, but I'm looking forward to having a wonderful fall. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody has a great day.